So you've gotten used to this by now. Normally I pop up and say question of the day, but sometimes that takes you off guard. So I want to ease into it this time. Let me ask you the question of the day today. What is most important to you when it comes to organizing your game? Is it artistry, artisanship, or effectiveness really, or kind of you know streamlined nature? The reason I ask that is because we're gonna take a look at two game organizers today, and we're gonna break down a couple of important factors. These are both from Meeple Realty. We have the um, Gloomhaven Town, and then the uh, Quacks of Quedlinburg sort of organizer, and I'll, I'll put the official names on here in just a minute, but the most important thing is to you, do you prefer it to look gorgeous when you throw that game out on the table and all of its new its component holders? Or is it most important that it can be just the ugliest thing in the world as long as it gets the game to the table faster? So let's take a look at both of these right now, what they add to both of these games and if they're worth the investment because this is the only type of video where we ever talk about cost being an issue. So let's take a look right now at these two products from Meeple Realty right now. So here we have the Quacks of Quedlinburg uh, with the insert I want to show you here. Now it does have the herb witches available where you can hold it, but I don't have the herb witches, so we're not going to worry about that. But you just know it's made for that. So your pieces go in this nice little slot, this insert here that actually fits in the very shape of the actual player boards. I love when things do that, when it's cut out in such a way where all it does is lay nicely in there. Here's some extra pieces for you. you can put your extra stuff in there. This is where your player boards go, your actual things like your, you know, character boards and things, or your character pieces. This would just hold extra. This is where you keep your fortune cards as well as the herb witch stuff that goes down below. This comes off in such a way like this. I believe it's like that. Yep, this comes out like a drawer here. Herb witch stuff would be there. Your fortune teller cards go there. This would just clip back in into this nice looking little theater piece here. Fantastic artistry. Love the way that looks. Uh, you then have your actual keeper board there. Here's where these are really cool. So each of the colors of the actual individual things is marked here. It's burnt in with wood. Uh, they're all marked and it shows, you know, in the back of the box there, one, two, four. It shows the actual point value for each one of these. So it's nice to have. They all sit down there, each of the different colors, uh, including an extra one that I don't have for herbs. Uh, but it, they're very nice the way they sit like that uh, to where you can reach in and get them out fairly easily. Now, also, you have their thing that holds your rubies here. It's always great. But this is one of my favorite pieces, this book. It's an actual book to hold the spell books. Like, this is just fantastic. It's got a little lock on it. You unlock it by twisting the mechanism. You can open the book up. There are all the recipe books. You lock this back down just like this. Twist it to lock. Phenomenal. Just got to love any time something looks that good and is also that effective. So these will go back in here. Those sit right on top simple as that you then have pieces go back across here oh, actually this goes under here sorry this goes under here this sits right here and then back and you're done that's what I, I love a game that sets up and tears down that quickly thanks to this expansion piece uh, this this piece from me realty now here's the big dog this is what I wanted to really show you here this is the Gloomhaven town one here so we're gonna zoom out just a touch also yeah got a little painted figures here been playing with those two Inside of here, uh, it's a monster now. Yeah, no, it's a mess. Sorry, don't look at my stuff. You don't want to see any kind of mild, mild, mild spoilers. Not really any. Uh, this kind of stuff just sits on the top here, and that's okay. That doesn't actually bother me. I put my bosses in here with these. The pieces, it actually tells you which pieces you should probably put side by side so that the, board, the box closes a little better. Uh, still hard to close the box completely just because there's so much stuff. All right, so I want to just show you kind of how it all fits in here. The board goes in here, but this we start to make hay so inside of this this tray here is the actual tokens notice it's got a rolled bottom so you can reach in there and grab these things better things like the money or the summons this is where the money's at right here hot coals tree water boulder large boulder huge boulder all of these are organized so when your map tells you okay you need this this and this you pop this open Put this right here and go boom there's my sarcophagus there's my traps boom 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 you quickly can get this stuff if you're not 100 familiar with everything but it shows you where everything is 
There's a little token tray over here for extra pieces. These are your uh, envelopes and things here, but <clears throat> your translation guide, your monster sleeves and monster cards fit right up here nicely. But then you have your extra tokens over here. This holds the actual character boxes. This holds the actual miniatures themselves. Let me see if I can grab which one it is here. I'll tell you what, let's pull this out first. This is a double container. So it holds that stuff, that tray on top. Under it here though, as you pull that off, you get another one of these money pieces that I absolutely love. This is where all the monsters are. And they're all labeled. But you notice there's a little thing on the bottom to where you can actually get your finger under there to push them up to get them out easily. I love that. Down here is the card holder. You gotta love a good card holder. Uh, right here, this is what holds the actual miniatures themselves. Pop that out, you can get to the miniatures. I'll just show you kind of how that looks inside of there. They sit right in there just like that. And last but not least, one of my favorite things about this whole organizer is this piece right here. This is the one that holds your things like your doors, your cabinets and stuff like that. It holds them vertically like that. You can just put this next to it if you don't know what's what because of the, you know, again, they're verticals. So you can't necessarily see them. And you just reach down and grab what you need. So I need doors. Boom, I'll grab these doors. Grab a rock and a totem. It's in here. Barrel, corridor. You get your stuff done so much faster that way. So that are those are the two inserts right there. Let's talk final thoughts right now. So first and foremost, let's talk about the Quacks of Quedlinburg Organizer. This to me is such a great tool to get this on the table faster instead of having to open many, many, many bags and put them into different containers and then put the ones out at the right time. This one tells you exactly, okay, here's your ones, here's your threes, here's your fives, here's your ones, here's your threes, here's your ones, here's, well, all that sort of stuff. Everything is right there, ready to go for you. It goes up to the six player count and already has space for the herb witches. So if you're into upgrading a game just for the sake of upgrading it, this might not be one of the worst ones to pick just because it looks so good. That book, right? The fact that it's a book that holds the spell books or, or the uh, uh, potion booklets. That is just gorgeous looking. I love the fact that they use that kind of bendable wood. So really good props to this one. This is a phenomenal product if you want to get Quacks of Quedlinburg to the table faster and if you want to just present it in such a way that keeps it organized while playing, not just getting it to the table faster. That's a beautiful thing about this is it not only puts out what you want to get out there, but it also gets these things you know, effectively done uh, the right way. So just know that this is a thing that you can do to speed up getting Quacks of Quedlinburg in a way that looks pretty. Now, the reason I want to pause here is because a lot of those thoughts are going to translate over into the Gloomhaven Town, but it's a little bit different with the Gloomhaven Town because Gloomhaven, if you know the game already, is a massive, just festival of components and finding the right things you need when you need them takes a very, very long time to get the game set up on the table. So let me end the Quacks part by saying if this falls within your budget, definitely go get this out. This is the best Quacks organizer on the market. It's one of the best ways to organize the game, get it onto the table faster. It's beautiful, it's easy to assemble, and it just makes your game look nicer, but also serves the function of getting these to the table faster. This is not a paid advertisement, by the way. There's been things before that I've dinged Meeple Realty for. Uh, the Quacks one is not one of them. It's very, very good at getting the game to the table. So, But let's talk now about the Gloomhaven Town. When I was setting up the other day, um, before I had the town, this game takes a long time to set up and I just typically play solo. So you do kind of have the advantage of just taking as long as it takes to set up, right? But there are some nights where I'm just like, oh man, I want to play Gloomhaven. And then I start thinking about the setup and I go, oh, maybe I don't tonight want to play Gloomhaven, right? This product is absolutely perfect to get this game to the table. And I kid you not, quantifiably, this shaved off a good 30 minutes of setup time to play a mission of Gloomhaven. If you know anything about Gloomhaven, that is a huge deal. Because before, when you get the game fresh and new and open it up, you've got a small container at the bottom that holds some things, right? But it doesn't separate the cards really neatly. It doesn't separate the components and the monsters and all the uh, the heroes and the cards and all these sort of things. It just kind of throws it in the box. And you've got to kind of sort it out and separate it and put the tiles together. What this does, it does it in such a great way. There's so many different sorts of spaces and tiles and things to place the different tiles. But my absolute two favorite parts of this are the monster organizer first. The fact that there, every single one is labeled and it comes with a grid on top of the box to where you can look at the grid, look at it and get the monsters that you need until you memorize it and know what they are. But when you're playing early on, you're not gonna come into contact with all of these monsters. So you go, which one's the lurker? Uh, the lurker below or whatever it's called. Oh, there it is. Uh, which one is the, the dark imp? Oh, there it is. 
having this grid with the monster names on it is absolutely fantastic. Now, what's also great is on the bottom of the monsters holder, there are little holes where you can push your finger up to push them all straight out. You're not having to dig your finger in there and hope that you can get your big old sausage fingers in there because I have pretty big fingers to get these pieces out. No, no, gone are those days. You push from the bottom, pull it from the, the it's so fantastic thoughtful thinking on how to get these monsters in and out of there quickly and organize them right instead of throwing them into a big bag and being like where's the i need one more uh burglar archer or whatever they're called um uh, goblin archer that's what's great about this monsters now the second thing i love is the two containers that hold but the traps and the terrain pieces right so the overlays onto the map you have one that takes care of all the hex i guess they're hex shapes i can't remember if they're hex or octagon but i think they're hex it takes care of all the hex shaped ones and then you have the ones that take care of all the oblong or odd shaped ones like your big boulders and your traps and your spike traps and pressure plates and thorns and all that sort of stuff it takes care of those in one container with them being labeled and then there's the one that takes care of all the hex shaped ones with it stores them vertically uh, and it says, you know, door or thorn and water, stone and water. Uh, here's a totem in this. And you look at what your map calls for, what your mission calls for. And you go, okay, I need three totems. I need three stumps. I need three um, uh, uh, tile overlays. And you just go f -f 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 grab them out. And within seconds, within 20 seconds, you've got them out on the table as opposed to, oh, which bag had that? And then, let me see where I can find it in here. No. <clears throat> that was so refreshing to be able to get the stuff I need for that mission onto the table quickly. Not only that, the cards can be separated much easier. It comes with a ton of separators for your cards and also fits um, cards that are in sleeves or not. So really nice thought there. But the token organizer is also, here's, here's one of those other things where artistry meets uh, effectiveness. And again, I'm putting them over pretty hard. Again, this is not a paid review, but I, I wanted to check this out because I knew that Gloomhaven is the game that needed help getting to the table faster, but not just help getting to the table faster, getting set up and torn down faster so that you can enjoy playing without going, oh, God, I don't want to play tonight because it's going to be such a pain. The actual token organizer, the one that holds like your damage and your summons and your things like that, has a beveled, or I guess a kind of a, a, a scooped shape. You saw it a minute ago, a scooped shaped uh, thing where you can pull those tokens out, effectively raking them up into your hand because you're going to need to grab a couple at a time. Just the little things of thinking about that to where you're not having to reach down in and pull out a bunch of tiles and hope that you can get them out effectively, that is really, really nice to see those tiles come out of there so easy. So. I'm a huge fan of this organizer just for how it holds everything and how it holds everything so well. The the containers that hold your 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 cards as well as your um, the actual figures, the miniatures themselves are really nice. Uh, it made me get to where I was like, well, heck, if I'm going to be playing this a lot more, I'm going to paint these suckers. So I painted my Savas, um, what is he called, Craghart, and then uh, the little dude with the gear shape one. So big fan of this it just got me really even inspired to play the game more but it holds everything so well and does such a nice job if you are going to get gloomhaven it's already a pretty pricey game but i highly 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 suggest before you go out and get the expansion because you're not going to need it for a long time get this organizer this is not me saying oh if you have get this organizer if you have gloomhaven if you're going to get gloomhaven make sure to go and get this because you will thank yourself for buying that purchase from Meeple Realty because it is so effective at keeping everything separate. Get in there, get this product. It is a fantastic product of organizing. It looks great and it's effective at getting your things to the table. Normally I, I can't say enough good things about Meeple Realty anyway, but I, I really wanted to break down and explain how good these components are for each individual need. So getting them to the table is great, but getting them to the table in a way that um, looks good on the table but most importantly wraps back up quickly as well as being able to instantly see where things are the map tells you what you need you're able to find it instantly that to me is a lifesaver when playing a game like gloomhaven in which you just want to dive in and start playing as opposed to going Ugh, do i really want to set this up or not so go check these two products out they're some of the best organizers um what do you call it organizers and things on the market but i love 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 this product i stand behind this one i have no no financial stake in it, no nothing like that, but I really highly suggest, I know budgets are, are not great right now with all that's going on, but if you can get your hands on this, definitely go get it. It's a phenomenal piece 
uh, that really will make you play Gloomhaven even more. So that's all I can say about that. Just I've said enough uh, that you can hear it. There really are not a lot of negatives at all. In fact, there are no negatives with these two products, in my opinion. Um, like I said, if you go watch my other Maple Realty videos, there are a couple things where I'll knock it every once in a while. This one did not have that. All the pieces were the exact same as the instructions. The instructions were great on both. They both told you how everything goes in the box once you put them in there. You do need a little bit of glue for the Gloomhaven one. There's a couple things that you'll need to glue, um, and that's fine. But other than that, definitely go get this. I'm Brian Drake here on the Dice Tower. Make sure to check us out on Twitter, Instagram, etc. at Dice Tower Brian. And until next time, we'll see you. Thanks so much for watching another Dice Tower video. If you enjoy our videos, subscribe to the channel for more fun, comprehensive board game coverage. Also, consider joining us at one of our events. Come to Dice Tower Retreat, a small, intimate gathering where gaming is king. Join us for Dice Tower Cruise, the largest board game cruise. Attend Dice Tower West in Las Vegas for gaming fun on the West Coast, or Dice Tower East in Orlando in sunny Florida. Dice Tower Conventions, the friendliest gaming conventions on Earth. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.